Hey guys, this is Pat D72. This is a little bit of a rehash uh, video. I put two or three together to make this. Uh, I, you know, sometimes people are asking, you know, how do you how do you ship things? How do you do bubble wrap? Um, I when I was new to YouTube four months ago, um, you know, I was getting you know obviously because my my subscriber count was a lot lower, so I didn't get many views. So I thought, you know, what can I do to still get people interested in and, and, and give back to them to show them about. Uh, bubble wrapping things and shipping things, I said, you know what, I'll, I'll kind of put together a, uh, you know, montage of, of, uh, of a couple videos together, and uh, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, and uh, it's greatly appreciated. Have a good day. Jumbo roll of uh, wrap that I have, <coughs> that I buy, this is how I buy my um, bubble wrap, <coughs> buy a huge roll like that, it's much cheaper, so... I just kind of wanted to show you that, and then I'm going to show you, you know, me uh, getting these parts ready to be shipped out. Okay, I'm going to show you how we got to wrap these. I'm going to wrap them with bubble wrap. See how that goes around and then make it like a pillow. Shipping is always the really the most work, especially on stuff that you want to make sure that doesn't break. But you know, I think just taking your time with it. that big of a deal. I know it seems like a little overkill, but, you know, this stuff is going to bounce around. And I'm sure that's, that's just one headlight. Okay, this is basically what it looks like. i got to put a little bit more tape around it. That one is ready over there to go. And this is going to be the other half. Okay, so that's part number two. I got them in this box. These boxes I actually use for Amazon for shipping. I put it in this medium Lowe's box. As you can see, they fit in there tight. And, uh, you know, they don't move around. They're in there, so that's going to be good. So let me, let me pick this up. That's the box I'm going to use. I mean, they're, they're in there good. I'm going to put a little bit more bubble wrap just to stuff it in on top, but here's the, the box that I use. I use the medium Lowe's box. Now, the box is coming out to be bigger than I 
you know, probably heavier than I thought, but you know, that's that's sometimes that happens. So, all right, there it is. There's the box. You can see I have it all taped up. I run around the sides, even cross taped over on this. I have it taped on the bottom, secured. So now the only problem with this box that we're going to run into, and this is maybe a little tip, is how do you fit it on that normal scale? Like this is the size scale. It's not going to fit on there. How do you fit it on that scale? You're not. So what I do is, see the, the bathroom scale? What I do is I'll step on that, weigh myself, write that number down, get off, let it zero out, and then get back on it holding the box, and then I, then I know what the box weighs. So, and it doesn't matter if you're two ounces off anyways, because with these type packages, you have to round up. So, that's how I do it. I mean, I know I can get one of those scales. One day I will, when I probably get busier, that have, sort of looks like the bathroom scale, but it has a, a wire and then a separate um, reader for, um, you know, it shows the readout and stuff. So, we're going to... We're going to see how much this weighs, and we'll get right back to you. Okay, that was uh, two headlights off a uh, Range Rover. Uh, the next item I'm going to show you is a VCR and how we pack it. So stay tuned. This is my uh, VCR pillow, I call it. This is going to go out to Massachusetts. So I have bubble wrap, and I'm going to lay some bubble wrap on top. But I want to show, actually I got this box from Subway, and um, it's actually a perfect size box for this. You don't want a whole lot of room jumping around, um, because you also you're going to add to the weight, but um, if it's jumping around more, it's, to me it's going to get broke. I'm going to put some more bubble wrap into it, and then I'm going to um, tape it up really good, and then ship this out priority. And now what I did here is I actually took out the VCR, and I laid double wrapped fold it in half bubble wrap on the bottom and then I put the VCR pillow as I call it in and then uh, you can see on the top I'm putting a layer of bubble wrap so that that that'll be good all right I'll follow up a little bit more okay here we go I used the eBay tape and actually the box itself had handle with care on it so I, I left that exposed so let me, I want to show how I uh, wrap this. It's, it's kind of a little hard holding the camera. Hold on a second. You see even on the bottom, I went all the way around, strapped it on the sides. I want to make sure that this is nice and tight. So because these, the post office just throws things. The guys just chuck it in the truck. So this way, even if they're going to chuck it, um, that it's solid so yeah and as you can see it's coming in at 6.61 ounces which I think is heavier than I so it's gonna cost me a little bit more money but let me just double check okay, as you can see I was here. basically six ounces off um, with that so it came in at six pound six ounces which I had figured the weight was gonna be six pounds so that's not too bad. I mean, that's going to knock me up to the seven pound range, but that should only probably be about another dollar, dollar twenty-five. So I should be okay. All right, here we go. We're using right now a brother laser printer. Here comes the label. Okay, I hope you uh, this uh, was informational. If you're looking how to bubble wrap. Um, some items to ship out safely. Now these items were sent out about three or four months ago uh, with no issues, no returns, no complaints. So that's what I wanted to show you and follow up. Um, actually I had great feedback on the two items and uh, I hope this helped you. If you got any questions don't be afraid to uh, leave it in the comment section below. I always respond uh, to my um, comments and uh, I appreciate everyone's support. You guys can um, help me grow this channel. I'm at about six, almost at 660, and uh, on the march to 1,000. So, uh, again, I appreciate your support. Pat D72, and have a great day.